All right, in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to go through some basic drawing tools, um, some pretty simple ones to start off with. First thing I'll notice, though, is um, I haven't saved this SketchUp document yet, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to File, Save As, and um, I'm just going to put this in Documents for right now. Uh, I'm just going to call it First Drawing, and we'll put a space in there. Assuming I spell it right, there we go. First drawing. So, <clears throat> now um, we're going to go ahead and do some little drawings here. So, just to review, I'm going to press down the mouse wheel and do an orbit here. You should have practiced all these in the first lesson on uh, getting to know SketchUp. So, I'm going to assume that you know how to do all these shortcuts. <clears throat> If you need to review, go ahead and back go back and review that one. So um, I'm going to delete this guy. If I click on him, you see he's he's active. I can click and uh, uh, <clears throat> click and drag and make a box around that too. And I'm just going to hit the delete button, and then he's gone. So we don't need that anymore. Um, let's go ahead and I'm going to orbit out. I'm going to zoom out with my mouse wheel, and I'm going to orbit out here. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is draw a rectangle. Okay, and I look up here and I don't see a rectangle tool, but if I click on this drop down, there's an e rectangle tool. And there is an R shortcut for rectangle, which is really nice too. Um, so I can either click that rectangle or I can click on the R button and you can see that rectangle becomes active. So if I put my little pencil over here on the origin, that's where my X, my Y, and my Z axis come into play. It's just like math class. X is this way, Y is this way, and because it's three-dimensional, we've got the Z axis going up and down. <clears throat> so I'm going to just click, and I'm going to draw a rectangle here. Now, if you'll notice down here, this gives us the dimensions. So let me do that again. I'm going to control Z to undo and take a look down here as I draw. I'm going to click and I'm going to draw and you can see as I stretch this way and I'm still holding down that left mouse button 50 there's 50 feet, 51 feet so the the length is this way and then of course the height would be this way. So um, <coughs> I'm just going to make a, a rectangular box like this, so something real easy. Uh, go ahead and click on my selection tool and click off of that. Let's go ahead and select something else. Uh, I'm going to make a circle this time. So we'll go over here and I'll just click and drag. And again, just clicking and dragging with my left mouse wheel or le left mouse button, excuse me, and there is a circle. Uh, we can get a polygon going in here. Um, there's your polygon. You know, so it's it's pretty uh, it's pretty basic at that point. Um, so let me hit the selection tool there. Okay, so that is, I'm going to zoom way out here and then pan over. This is, or these are our three options. There's looking at it from below. That's kind of cool. It's like up to the sky. So those are our three different, um, our three different geometries. I'm going to click the zoom extents and it's going to get me right in there close and pull out a little bit. All right, so now that's that's how we draw things. Now we're going to use what we call a push-pull tool. This is the push-pull tool. If I click on that, you'll notice that when I mouse over this, let me zoom in here. It's it's got a little bit of a like a little dots on it. Okay, so I'm going to concentrate on this one right here. I'll pan over there, and I'm going to click on that one time. And when I click on that, and I'm, I let go of the mouse button, so I just click on it once, and I'm just moving the mouse up and down. You can see now in the lower right-hand corner here is giving me the distance. So that's how much of a distance I'm going up—16 feet. So it's a pretty big one. So if I click right there, it's going to keep it at that at that height. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing here. Click and click again. Click and click again. So now I have just and over here, I have just really easily, with just the 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 push pull tool, created a two a three D geometry from a two G two D geometry. So again, all I did was I just drew a rectangle, drew a polygon. This happens to be a hexagon, which is six sides, and drew a circle. And I ended up with uh, with some prisms here, and then of course a uh, a cylinder. So nothing fancy about that. It's pretty simple to do. So just try it out in your first exercise. Just draw a um, 
a bunch of little rectangles and boxes and things. Um, if you actually want to uh, draw a square, um, if you hold down the shift key, that will, um, actually, I'm sorry, it's the, oh, never mind, cancel that order. Um, there's a square right there. Um, if you actually move it, that's what I wanted to do. Let me control Z. Well, one last thing before we exit this tutorial. Um, <clears throat> I'll look straight down on this. If I click and drag my rectangle tool, and you can see I'm not quite a square yet, but it snaps and it shows me the diagonal line there, dotted line. There's a square, and then I can make it, <clears throat> of course, any size I want to be a uh, to be the square there. Okay, again, you just push pull, and I like the keyboard shortcut for pu push pull, which is P. There's push pull. P for push pull, click and drag it up, and there you go. Now, if I want to go down, I can click and then go down like that. So if you zoom out, you can see that I'm below that plane. So again, eh, let's see if I can push pull from back here. I can go down or I can go up, like a big old skyscraper here. Okay. So that is how you push pull. You can make all kinds of different things. And uh, you can even, once you start drawing stuff, you can click on this side and click and pull this out here. I can click and pull this out here, and you can start going nuts with some of this stuff. Um, you can click and change that up. I can bring this back down, and I think you get the point. So you can play around with this, have a whole <clears throat> whole bunch of fun with it, and uh, you know see what you can create. So I've created real quick a whole bunch of boxes here, and there's really nothing to it. Control S will save it and uh, we're in good shape. That is how you use the push-pull and create different geometries.